Hey folks, how y'all doing? Um, we're gonna be doing a video today in a review. I'm selling my old um, Super, Super Bronco toy built tiller, rotor tiller. Um, and it's got, it's 2004, 18 years old. So it was just time time to sell it. I mean, we're getting a halfway decent price for it. Um, rather than keep on running it and you know, where I wouldn't get any hard on anything for except for junk or parts. But behind me, I bought a new Bronco, um, C Super Bronco CRT counter rotating tines. It's nice. Put the oil in it. Haven't put any gas in it yet. But it's it's a freewheel where the you know the tires where you can freewheel them, where you get from spot to spot easier, and made, made a lot of improvements on them. Uh, let me see here. I like the front bumper, that looks a lot better. I mean, I, I, I just, I've had good luck with Troy but built stuff. Uh, the tillers especially, they're cast iron, there's less moving parts. That's what I like about them. Well, let's take a closer look. The push, the push guard or the, or the brush guard in the front, it's, a lot heavier duty here. But I uh, hadn't, even, hadn't even put any gas in it yet. Matter of fact. Well, she's bone dry. And this is a, uh, it says a 208cc. But it's equal to a uh, equal to a six horsepower. So yeah, she is nice. Well built, solid axle, cast iron axle. I mean, you know, just everything is just tough, really tough looking. Um, got a rubber grip here now. We're used to not have one. Um, got rubber around the hand, handle, which is really nice, comfortable. And it's got a, a kill switch on it. So, that, so if something happens, you just kill it right here. I like that. And here's the reverse. On the Super, 2004 Super Bronco, the reverse is right here. You know, Pull up on it to, you know, make it go in reverse. Like I say, the outside of those hitch pins, that makes it freewheel. I took them off yesterday. They had some graphite or something on them, but I went ahead and put some white lithium grease. Just, uh, you know, help them out over the years, but they don't seize up. I have, I've had, I have seen them seize up on the toy belts. Or any solid that's got free wheel. Then you have adjustment here to your height, like for right here, whatever height you want. But and I got some good good ground out there. I got a well, some tough ground out there. I got a you know um, till up. But yeah, y'all, she's nice. <laughs> And that's the new added bar right here. Um, that's pretty cool. Sorry about that. That's something new on them. All right. Get you down for a closer look. Sorry about that. Never be that clean again. There's my phone going off. See what happens. Yeah, solid axle, less moving parts. 
It's got a tor it says it's a Tory belt manufactured engine, which hey, as long as it runs good, that's what I'm worried about. You know, that's the main thing. We're gonna take it and put some gas in it, and I'll let you see what kind of ground we're tolling up. All right. Be back here shortly. All right now. That's beautiful. Here, here it is. I'm sorry about that. Everything you want to know about it. Six inch tunnel width. Drop the time to up up six inches. CRT counter rotating times. We want to see what she does. All right, y'all. Hey, folks. We're gonna put some gas in for the first time. So here we go. I'm using 93 octane. Well, you know, treat it with stable. F, you know, to make it ethanol free. Yeah, fill it up to that rim, and that's about it. I could put more in it. That's plenty. Is it lines on there for a reason? I got the wheels on uh, free wheel right now so you go back and forth easy and I never never have cranked it so let's give it a whirl okay oh yeah all right again we're gonna put her in we'll choke it that's right here choke it right here and we're gonna Go to the fast position. Okay. Make sure y'all can see what I'm doing. That'd be the purpose of making a video, wouldn't it? It's right. one crank. Two cranks. Three cranks. Let's see, get on choke. Oh, that choke right there. Right. One minute. Let's see what we got wrong. the manual out. All right, be right back. Okay, y'all, smooth move. I had the kill, kill, um, the kill shot switch off. The kill switch was off. My bag, my other one didn't have a kill switch. So here we go. I, that, that was a dumb move. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's just... The, for the learning and teaching experiences. I got her in choke, which I probably shouldn't need in choke. It was a kill 
house, which is all it was. This red button right here. Kill switch, cut the dust off. We're uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna show you what, what I have to tell. All right, it's some it's some harsh stuff now. I had brought um, collard greens planted there all went along. So we're gonna show you that. Okay. But uh. Y'all, I ain't kidding. This is some uh, she got stalks on it. I mean, it's some some pretty pretty tough ground. I mean, it's been it's been tilled for since '97, so it all did okay. But like that, that's a, that's a heavy duty stalk there. But you know, I chopped up my um my hoe yesterday. All right. Yes, we got we got this old creeping winter grass for weeds growing up. But here's a there's a there's a stalk. Look how big that collard stalk is. That's a beast. I just chopped this with the big John Deere 2320 the other day. Bush hogged it. So all right, we're, we're gonna see what we can do. Make a make a couple passes and see how she does. Put her. I gotta put the wheels. They say not to put the wheels in gear until you have to get it started. So, but I don't see. I will say what it says. It says, when starting engine, place free hand here. Oh, the never mind. My bad. It says place free hand there. I guess for you to have a little, a little bit of support. And as you see right here, I uh, I flagged all my my irrigation um, pop-ups, irrigation heads, all the way down the line, so I can see what the heck I got. I don't want to run over that, those. That's a no good there. See right there. So, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and make. A, I'm, gonna put, I'm gonna put her in gear. But I'll show you how that. I'll show you how that goes. Gotta get it out of free will. We're getting ready. We're getting ready for the black magic. All you gotta do. Put these old gloves on. Got that old psoriasis. Oh, it helps the hands out. You can just take pull that pin out. A little too much. in gear. I'll take the same thing over here. Just Not 
too bad. All right, she's, she's ready now. Got her in oh, gear. I'll take a break from that. So, we got her in gear. And crank her up. Hang there you go, we'll crank it up again. And this thing's just kind of videotaped by yourself. Kill switch is on. I did that in one of my other videos too. Got the kill switch on. Bad at all, folks.
So far, so good. I'll just see what the results. A lot easier to maneuver with the counter rotating. She's getting, it, she's getting it done. I had to give her, I had to give her twice. But, all right, we're gonna start telling the rest of the guard. We'll be back, we'll be back here shortly. Hey, folks. Uh, the tiller worked great. Went, just give them my reviews. But I got a lot of wiry grass in the garden, winter grass, I call it. Um, after one, a couple passes, it gets all caught in tines, and I got off. You know, spend time, which is no big deal to get it out of the times, which, you know, everybody has a small tiller to do the same thing. But now I'm cheating. Uh, I got the big boy out. The John Deere with the 647. I said, in other words, as much time as I spend getting weeds out of the times and everything, I could already have it tilled with, with the big boy, so I got the big boy out. But, that's, that's going to be my row machine. Uh, or, you know, if, if I don't have too many weeds, if you know what I'm saying. I, it's my fault. I should have been tilling all one along. But these big, these big broccoli stalks, I mean, collard stalks, they're a bear. They are a bear. So, I got the big guns out now. All right. Well, sit back and enjoy. We're going to till and all that fun stuff. All right. Do what you gotta do. But yeah, overall, it's a good, great teller. Uh, I'm not gonna kid you not. It's a great teller, and we'll take another look at it. Uh, I like the reverse. I like everything on it. But it's just breaking uh, kind of new, well, it's not new ground, but it's, uh, like I say, a lot of weeds. And it's wrapped around the tines, and you got to take a little time to get them undone. Which did, good, did, did a great job. So, I'm giving that, I'm giving that a thumbs up. Um, I like it. And what I, what I like to do, I like to take the air compressor and boil the dirt out or you know uh, or you can use a water hose but it's better than not to get to wash them that much uh, just saying the air compressor blow the dirt out or take your hands and 
while, it's, while the engine's off and get the dirt out from underneath the tines, help keep it clean. Last year, long, good while. All right, y'all, well, thanks for watching. That's my review on the uh, Super Bronco CRT. It's a good machine. And uh, remember to kill, turn the kill switch on. <laughs> All right, y'all, y'all take it easy now. All right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, God bless, and simplify. Oh, rest in peace, our, our Lee Army. Hey, that's my one of my heroes. All right, y'all, y'all take care. Bye-bye. Hey folks, back again, doing a video on uh, tellers. We got the toy built, uh, the toy built, let's see what the, uh, yeah, can, CRT, counter rotating tines. Um, Y'all, that, that was a good teller, but it was just tough to use. On, it was, it's, it's really going on good on new ground, but when it comes to, uh, uh, soil already prepared like my, my garden it uh it was just tough to use i mean i was more or less pushing it than i was uh walking behind it uh it, just, it was kind of a bear i mean the good tillers don't get me wrong but i got a uh, forward rotating time since then i took the other one back low they took it back no problem and i ordered a pro line uh the toy belt pro line front rotating tine tiller. It's got the Honda GX engine on it. It's a nice puppy. All right, I'll give you a closer look at it. But, uh, yeah, y'all, that thing is nice. Got the, don't even have the gas in it yet. That's a 160 cc. But yeah, I mean, it's just, it's got a, it's got, instead of um, doing the wheels with the um, um, clinch pin, you just put it in and out of gear right here. In and out of gear. Uh, makes it a whole lot easier. And it's man, that nice grips on it. Your depth stake right there. As you see, it's still got the plastic on it. But I'll let y'all decide what you think is better. But you know, I'll let you look at the soil before and after. But this tends to fluff up the soil when at times you're going forward. You know, it, it just seems to do a lot better. But this is the uh, Proline Tour Belt. You got this. You got the reverse button right here. Reverse. Sixteen inch tilling depth. Just yeah, adjustable tilling depth up to seven inches. FRT forward rotating times. It's a Proline series. She's she's heavy duty. Not that the other one was heavy duty, but. I would have been found the Briggs or a tour built engine, but I got the Honda on that one. This one's this run a little bit more money. This is uh the other one is six ninety nine. This 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 is run this run like uh right right around twelve ninety nine. Uh big difference in the Honda engine there. I don't even have gas in it yet. But I'm gonna put gas in here now shortly. And then, uh, no, no gas at all. <clears throat> all right. So, we'll get to it. And it's got an on and off switch right here. So, I can I'll remember to turn that on. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll be back here. We'll put some gas on the cranker up, and I'll show you the difference. I'm getting ready to plant corn, and I'll show you the difference in the till depth and all that stuff. All right. Okay, now. Oh, let me show you the undercarriage before we get it all nice and dirty. This is still got a plastic on it. <clears throat> it's built like a rock. <laughs> there she is. It's clean as clean as it's ever going to be. 
But yeah, I like the chore belt and stuff. Cast iron, chaff, and the belt right here. Straight back. And this is just the uh, the handle height. Right here. Alright, well, I'll put gas in it, let you see me start it. Oh, uh, let's see, she's brand new. Alright. Okay, y'all, we're gonna start it. The red button down there is an on off switch, so I'll make sure I turn it on. It's a neutral right now. Turn it on. And right here. Choke it. Okay, fuel is on. Choke is on. I'm going to try minimum first, not max RPMs. Right here is where the other toller, the counter rotating toller, um, did its job. Uh, that kind of reverse the soil and just dug and dug it down, which is not bad, but I want to I wanna fluff the soil up more for my seed beds. As you see, this is a big John Deere 647 tiller. That uh, fluffed it up really good. Um, but you can see where the when I when did the counter rotating uh, tiller. It's not a bad tiller, but it's really made for um, unbroken earth. I mean, if you're starting the garden or whatever. But I like the I like the forward rotating tines better, or the FRT. All right. So yeah. So let me go ahead and we'll uh, crank her up. The new uh, toy belt FRT, four rotating tines. I'm gonna go from there. All right, and we're gonna do this trip over here. All right. Okay. All right, folks. Here we go. First time tilling with the new Proline FRT tiller. And I'll let you see what you think. All right. Crank her up. On off switch. It's on.
show you what it looks like. Look how it fluffs up the ground. A lot better. And yeah, just freeze it back up. switch off on the Honda. I'm gonna put that inside the shop. I'm not gonna leave it on the lean to. Uh, the other one I left out there since 2004 and a little bit of rust on it. Super Bronco FRT front, front rotating tines or forward rotating tines. Uh, nice machine but right now she's just running run up gas, keep the gas out of the carburetor. I like it. I'm, now I'm getting ready to plant some golden queen corn. But yeah, if you already got a garden, you know, broke up, I would recommend the four rotating tines over the uh, counter rotating. Counter rotating is for new ground. If you're starting out a garden or you're, you're doing like a, a landscape or whatever, that's what you want to use. But. Getting that, getting that carburetor uh, empty. It takes a little bit, so it does. Now let's turn off the on and off switch and have it so the way do I need it again. Now I'll, I'll take the air compressor and my leaf blower and clean it up. She's, she's empty. I mean, the carburetor's empty. But anyway, the Toy Belt Pro line, I, I highly recommend it. Uh, I didn't have to push. It wasn't, it wasn't uh, um, the counter rotating. I feel like I had to push and get the wheels up to where it would dig down. And like I say, it just, you know, I like the, I like the front, uh, forward rotating times a whole lot better. All right, folks, that's my comparison of the video. I mean, of the two tillers. Many thanks for watching. God bless and simplify. Please subscribe. Hoorah. Y'all take care. All right, bye-bye. Oh, dang, oh, I always forgot. Let me let you go to the soil. And uh, another walk down on the tiller. All right, here's a tiller. Nice tiller, I'm not kidding you. Here's a fuel switch right here. On this way, we're on, it's off right now. That's a nice feature. Look at the soil there, folks. You see my footsteps, but it fluffed it right up back on up. No. But yeah, got a little dirt on it. It's all good to go. Put this bad boy in a neutral. Right there. Um, gear that way with it. That puts it in drive. 
Right now it's just neutral. In other words, right here. And drive, neutral. All right. Well, that's it, folks. Thank you for watching again. Hey, y'all take care now. All right, bye-bye.